how would you like to have the ability to stand up to any person, anyone who's rude, anyone who's being mean to you, deal with any difficult person in any situation without you having to be a jerk about it? I'm going to give you two strategies that you can use in your everyday life to deal with difficult people or difficult situations so you can take care of yourself without having to be a jerk or having to bulldoze people back. So the first strategy, I call it, just because someone asks you a question doesn't mean you have to answer it. And I'll give you a great example of a time where I used this and realized this is a strategy that other people can use to take care of themselves, hold their own boundaries, and if someone's trying to bully or be rude to them, you don't have to snap back, you don't have to be a jerk back to them, but you can take care of yourself in a healthy way. So the example was several months ago, I was invited to a party by a friend of mine and he invited some people over to watch the UFC fights. I love watching MMA. I love hanging out on a Saturday night with good friends, but I knew that this guy had a strong Christian faith and I was a little concerned because most of his friends are very religious and I'm a very irreligious, very culturally Jewish person without a strong religious practice. But because I have these tools and the ability to take care of myself and set boundaries and not answer questions that I don't want to, I felt comfortable going there, having a good time, and if something came up, knowing how to deal with it. So I get to this party, I'm sitting on the couch, I have my drink, I have a snack, I'm watching the UFC fights, everyone's treating me really well, everything's going great. Until a man walks into the apartment, sits down next to me on the couch, and starts talking to me about religion and about his Christian faith. Now, I'm happy to engage with him about certain surface level situations, but then he turns to me, he says, hey, I heard that you are Jewish, and I'm, I really can't understand, what do you not believe that we believe? What about Christianity do you not agree with? Now, he says these words to me with anger in his voice, with skepticism in his voice, with doubt in his voice, and I know that I'm dealing with someone who has very firm beliefs that I'm never going to change, nor do I want to, but also someone who wants to talk about something more controversial on a Saturday night, which is something that I personally had no interest in doing. So you have two options here. One is you can politely decline to answer the question, which I actually didn't do. The second option, however, which I did do, was to answer a different question. So when someone asks you a difficult question where you're feeling like they might be attacking you or bullying you or coming after you in any way, you have that option to either not answer the question and tell them so. You could say something like, hey, look, it's Saturday night. I'm hanging out with some of my friends. I just want to watch the fights. I'm not really interested in talking about this with you. Now, some people might not even hear that and dismiss what you just expressed and push you on it. And they say, oh no, it's not a big deal. I'm just curious. I just really want to know what you think about this. And again, I give you permission to hold that boundary. And you can say, look, like I said, I'm not going there. And if you need to, you can walk away from the situation. However, that's option one. Option one is you can just say, look, that's a great question, but I'm not really looking to talk about that stuff right now and you can walk away if you need to. Option number two, which I chose to, because generally when people are asking these types of questions, they don't even know what they're doing. They don't know that they're picking a fight. They don't know that what they're doing might be antagonistic. So what I do is I take the frame back. He's trying to hold the frame of, what do you not agree with about Christianity as a Jewish person? And instead of answering that question, without even saying something, I just go right into answering a different question, a question that I'm comfortable answering to give this guy the benefit of the doubt and see if we can create some kind of actual conversation that might be more productive and more uh, creating friendship and togetherness. So instead of answering the question what I don't agree with, I just go right into what I do agree with. And I start, I say, well, you know, I've actually read the Hebrew Bible, which I think you guys call the Old Testament, and there's so many good things that I really like about it. I like the emphasis on love and the emphasis on connecting with other human be beings and having connection. I really like the emphasis on thinking about a higher power rather than making money your higher power because I used to work on Wall Street and money used to be so important to me. And I love all of those things. And he just stands there for a minute and he says, wow, 
I agree with all those things too because, and then we'd have a really nice productive conversation, talk about a lot of things that we have in common, and then when we were done with that conversation, I walked away and I sat somewhere else. So I want you to know that if someone's coming after you with a challenging question, a rude statement, something difficult, just because someone asks you a question does not mean that you have to answer it. And in fact, rather than declining to answer that question, which is always an option, you can test out answering your own question and seeing how that goes. And again, if they say, well, I didn't ask you that, I ask you what you disagree with. You have every right to go back to saying, look, I'm not interested in talking about that right now. I really wish you the best. I think it's fascinating conversation, but it's not something I wanna to talk to you about right now. So have a great night. I'm gonna go talk to some other people. And it's totally fine to do that. Now, strategy number two for dealing with a difficult person, a bully, or someone being rude to you without being a jerk is what I call taking back the frame. So the story for me taking back the frame that I will give you as an example was, I was on a group trip in Russia and I'm having lunch with two girls in my group. It's a great tour guide. Everyone was actually Australian, great vibes, but there was one girl in the group who was a little bit more challenging. She would say things without even realizing that she was being rude or being difficult. And so we're having lunch and she starts to make fun of my beard because I had one piece of hair going out of control off my beard and she starts making fun of me, legit bullying me without even realizing what she was doing because I would guess that she was bullied a lot in her past and had a lot of insecurities inside of herself. And this is generally why people bully because they feel insecure and they don't even know that they're bullying. So by the way, like I said in example number one, you can always just be very direct and say, look, I notice you're kind of making fun of me right now and I don't appreciate that. You can always do that. But what I recommend is always the option to try to salvage the situation without directly calling them out. So what I did was when she was bullying me, when someone is bullying you, they have what's called the frame of the conversation. They're in control, they have the energy. Everyone's looking at them and seeing what they're doing to you. And generally, you get angry and resentful and frustrated because you don't know how to take care of yourself in that situation. But what you wanna do is you wanna take the frame back and turn the tables 180 so that you hold the frame. And you can either do this by bullying them back, which I definitely don't recommend because you don't need to. You can take the frame back without having to be a bully. You can do so in a joking way by kind of laughing up whatever she's saying without getting angry or denying it, but then turning something back on her. So what I did was I looked at her, I looked at her friend and I looked to the friend and I said, oh my God, how do you deal with this girl? She's giving me a hard time about my beard and yes, I agree, it's out of control, but oh my goodness, do you always have to be on and dressed well? How do you deal with her? In a fun, laughing way. And then her friend starts saying, oh, I know, she's impossible, she's always trying to give me stuff. And we're doing this in a lighthearted way where we're not beating her down, but we're kind of laughing about it, making a joke of the whole thing. Oh my God, I know my beard's a mess, but oh, she's always on me. How do you deal with her? And we're all laughing and we're all having a good time. And now our friend over here who was initially trying to poke fun at me says, oh wow, now everyone's looking at me and I'm getting kind of a hard time for being this type of person, so I'm gonna stop. So when you have someone bullying you, you do have the option to directly confront them about it, and you can do so in private, or you can just kind of laugh it up, yank the frame back, start putting the emphasis on her because when she was bullying me, the emphasis was on me and my beard and what's going on over here on my face and I turned it around and so now we're all looking at her. Oh, do you always give everyone a hard time? But not in a, in a negative way, not in a you know criticizing her way, in a way where we're just kind of making a joke about it. Like, oh my God, it's the fashion police. Hey, Natasha, is she always the fashion police with you? In a joking way. So those are two strategies that will enable you to stop any rude person or any bully right in their tracks. Number one, just because someone asks you a question does not mean you have to answer it. And number two, if someone is directly bullying you and the attention is on you, 
you can make a statement or ask a question to someone else to, in a joking way, take the emphasis off of you and actually put the emphasis on them. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more videos and updates. And also, you can listen to my podcast, The Brendan Burns Show, on iTunes and Spotify.